Hi all, in this video I'll show you how to save those recordings for your Skybox. Even if it's HD or not, it will still work, as you can see on my screen right now. I've just connected a hard drive, you can tell, it's formatted with an XTR name. I'm just opening the Plus Extract, which is one of two or three pieces of software I am going to be showcasing for you all. This one is free. And but it is quite outdated from 2009. As you can see, it doesn't exactly work because I did rebuild the firmware or the version. So even though it is a proper drive, it doesn't work. As you can see on here, it's a free one for personal use only, but from 2009. So what I try next is the other piece of software, which is paid unfortunately, and it's EXPVR. As you can see at Launch it immediately detects the hard drive. You just press the tick. It takes a while, especially on this disc, since it has over four, 350 recordings. It goes for each of them and then it checks and loads the Darwin database, I believe it's called. Now, as you can see, there are the whole list of recordings. I'm just going to scroll through them all. This probably takes away, but you can see the difference that they have a slight red reddish pale background and that shows it's encrypted which means that yes you can still copy them to a sky another skybox hard drive and watch them if you have a card but if you do it to your computer you just be left with a blank file like yes it will be worth maybe the 200 megs the gigabyte the two the three but you won't be able to play even in players like VLC it's because it's got that encryption that's built in even to the end products from this software that's gonna be the same for all the software including plus extract that one also does the same it's mainly for free to air channels also on Freeview which will have no protection and no encryption. So as you can see, all you have to do is just tick one, such as EastEnders here from BBC One West. Usually there'll be the option to copy checked to PC. That means you can check all non-encrypted, all of them, to copy to your PC. But since I've already done it, it automatically doesn't allow me to pick that one because I've already went through the hard drive and picked out the one that, that I wanted. But now, as you can see now, I'm going through a failed attempt at least to try and find the plus extract software page as you can see it is quite hard this one to download since it is from 2009 you go to the page and you can see it has plus extract but you cannot download it there's no option at the top it's just copy plus and right now I'm just going to try and use copy plus on my hard drive so it, it gives you a disclaimer it, it searches for updates and it searches through all the hard drives on your computer you have to select the source one mine shows up but here's a common issue scans but it's, it doesn't recognize the EPG or the planner so it just resets blanks out because mine's a Sky HD box it come from this one's probably more for Sky Plus rather than Sky HD now all you have to do is copy the link go to webarchive.org that is basically the internet archive if you, if you don't know the URL uh, paste it in and go to maybe around 2013, 2014 time. I, I'd probably go to 2017, but that was a mistake, a, a rookie mistake, probably for me. But try and go there, and go there, and try and find a menu like on the roll bar at the top, which you just saw earlier on the modern day, currently active now website. Try and find the one that says plus extract. Click on that one, as I do here, and then you'll be able to scroll down. If and you can actually see the download. I think I do actually so show one key thing also is if you want to protect the hard drives and protect the recordings, make sure you download a driver that stops Windows from, especially if you're using Windows 7 and newer, to stop trying to build files on it because that, that's what they do when they see a hard drive. It looks like it's empty, but it isn't. But the way to do it now, as you can see, you got to copy the link here as I'm showing you paste it in to your browser like normal and it just immediately downloads that's how you get it it's not on the website anymore but they still at the server where it's stored so as you can see WinRAR there but there's your plus extra your exe 
you just go through the installation process like normal, like with any other program, and then it will be installed onto your computer. Now for EXP VR, it is easier in fact, because the website is still up, and it's still up and running, and you, as you can still download it. So yeah, that's the download page, that's the introduction to the website, as you can see, there's all the features. You have to purchase it though, there's a PayPal link for £19.99 because it is limited to the first 200 megs. Here's the, literally like the table, as you can see there is a, like a commercial version, if you wanted to use that in the company base, but you have to contact them. As you can see there is a download link right there, it just redirects you to that downloads page. I don't know why, but it didn't work on my computer here. But I think it works maybe on some computers. My computer is quite temperamental with this website for downloading. As you can see, it does list the change log as well and the features that you've recently added. But as it says right at the bottom, it says for personal use only. So don't try and go, oh yes, I'll steal some programs and put them on YouTube. That is against what they want you to use this software for. It's mainly for archival processes, even though Sky maybe isn't intentional for that. As you can see, they've got a whole model list even for others in different countries like Germany. And then of course you also have frequently asked questions where it shows what each means if, if you can use it to expand to another a, a larger drive which devices are supported does it support encrypted recordings and all that as you can see there those encrypted recordings there they've got that pale red and it says yes for the encrypted and software just it is in .ts file so you'd have to use a quite sophisticated software like VLC as you can see red background is encoded blue is for on demand grey is like in your recycle bin and black is just like yeah it was just stored on there now as you can see now I'm loading up a separate hard drive I've got two this one's got a few less it's more modern now they've I think got around the same but as you can see like the same firmware plus extract fails once again that's the flaw of the program if I go to EXPVR, it will immediately show up as I show here. There's the drive, there's the, there's the capacity as well. You just tick it and it shows all 181, I believe, or 180 things being loaded up and the planner being loaded up, the database as well, being loaded into the program for you to use. A top tip as well is also if you're if you're using USB to connect your hard drive to your computer, make sure you're using a USB that can handle high speed and high power. Because I tried it before, and when you notice the hard drive disconnecting and reconnecting, that's when you get those flaws. As you can see, an error message popped up saying just about it. You don't recognise the version, but as far as I was aware, everything worked on this hard drive. As you can see, it goes green, and and you can see many of these are in that grey tone, showing that they were all maybe watched and then deleted. As you can see on this one here, Fear the Walking Dead, it has that pale background, means it's encrypted even though it's on E4. This is a blue one here, it is a Sky movie, so it's got the blue one, and you can see an expiry date, so you can see that maybe they bought it, or they rented it out, but of course it is still encrypted so you cannot copy those moves as well, you can see a lot more here, a lot more. But yeah, those are a fair few movies as you can tell, or Any Times, or Sky One, Sky Cinema, all those movies on there. As you can see it's greyed out there as well because they'll protect you from trying to do that. You, you can also do it though, as you can see here, on a league of their own. It does work, but you just get that same thing where you won't be able to watch it. It will just be a blank file. So I'm just going to test one here. I actually found one that works. It's the Stranger series from 2018 on ITV. So of course it will work. As you can see, it is copying. Depending on how you connect your hard drive, it could be quite quicker than mine, like double or triple the speed, depending if you like use SATA, like what it's intended for, or if you do it in like a docking station through USB to your computer. I'm just USB because I am using a laptop, so of course. Now, as you can see, it does go even quite quick on the slow 20 meg speeds. That's because it's only about 800 to 1 gigabyte, this file. It's about half an hour, so or an hour, so it, it probably won't take too long. And once it's done, it will be there exported in the file or the directory that you would have set. That you would have set for it will, as you can see, all, all recordings copied successfully. If you saw an error message, maybe that's because of that warning that I saw earlier. But as you can see there, it's right there. New strangers, you just have to click it. Make sure you open it with VLC because maybe other media players won't work. Now it's just going to take a while to load up, but as you can see, 
uh, works. Swear it's just adverts there. That's basically but all that's there. Adverts there, they're working, they're playing, they're fine. You can use software to convert the TS files, like, the UK's like Handbrake, but they can be quite tedious and depend on your computer's performance. As you can see, MPEG 1, 2 video and MPEG Welcome audio type, and there's the statistics there as well. Now we're going to close out of that now. Just see it, it's about just over a gigabyte. That's for a non HD member, so it could be bigger if that. Just to check on the Copy Plus, this is another scenario. These are two different ones, they both worked in the same software, but in this one, this one doesn't even detect the hard drive. And it just says, please make sure you plugged it in. Even though it is, and it's just known as local disk, as you saw earlier. So that is all. Thank you for, thank you for watching Radio GRD. Goodbye.